How long have I been single? Ah, um. uh, wait, I have to come back also. <laughs> it is hard to find love when you are visually impaired. So I don't think about it. I just keep myself busy. I've never been on an actual date. I'm not looking for Mr. Prince coming or anything, but I'm just here to see what happens. And if anything happens, I'm happy to accept it. Modern love is hard. So it's very difficult. When it comes to looking for a relationship, due to all these bullying experiences, it affected my confidence a lot. This series follows Singaporeans who live with disabilities. Bye. There's one more piece here, uh -huh. and this piece here. As they embark on a journey of love and self-discovery. You want to take your picture? Can take you to the office. Yeah, sure. Okay. Have a see you go. <laughs> Will they find what they're looking for? Hopefully he does. Huh? <laughs> Wants to see me again, yeah. Are you ready for love? Yes. Hi, I'm Liana and I'm 39 years old. Usually, I don't tell my real age. Can you share like, how many previous relationships? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Wait, how many? Huh? Can I just say the serious one of me? Yeah, okay. okay, for the serious one, I only have three. <laughs> my typical day in my life is uh, work, watch anime. <laughs> and go for training. I play go for the national team and also I'm part of a dragon boat team. I have a right eye condition called uveitis. I was born sighted by the age of 18. I diagnosed with this condition. It started out from sore eyes and it's a slow process of becoming blind. Currently, my left eye is totally blind and my right eye is uh, partial. I can still see big object colours. Only like wording on the signboards or how the person look like, I cannot see unless I invade their personal space. How long have I been single? Ah, uh, wait, I have to come back also. <laughs> Where are? Oh, seven years. I've been single for seven years. I just now realized. Yeah, yeah, it, it is long. When you are excited, it's easy for you, you know, to get to know a person, especially guys. But once you become visually impaired, it's a different story. Some apps, right, it's not friendly for the blind. Yeah, so that's a big difference. <laughs> Okay. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. My name is Liana. I'm going to be your guide. I work in Dialogue in the Dark as an exhibition guide and also I facilitate programs. So you can take your cane here. So now I'm going to teach you how to use your cane, okay? Make sure it's 45 degrees on the ground. Then you need to swing your cane left and right. Most important, your cane must always touch the ground. So, are you guys ready? Yes. yes. So, make sure your left hand is on the wall. Keep on moving, follow the left wall. Okay. Really cannot see anything inside. Yep. Where is hey, everybody? Hey. I stopped already. Keep on moving, follow the right wall. Look down first. Once outside, there's a seat on your right side, okay? So, thank you everyone. Yeah, thank so, you so much, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Need to check which one is veggie, no veggie. Yeah, mine is no veggie. So, apparently, uh, we're going to find love. Who? Find Who is love. me? Me, me. You are going to find love. Who yeah. said we? Is it I? I, I, I. <laughs> are we going to help you? Are yeah, people are going to help they're going to help me. Because you ask me, right, I get all the wrong guys on. So, yeah, are no point. Oh, so, people, you get the right, right people to help uh -huh. you. You ask right. me what's my type. Uh. Uh. Yeah. 
the person right have to understand each other lah. Um, uh, has to be honest and also have to understand that I play sports because sometimes I'm not that in means, Singapore. Oh, that means you oh, are the oh, international. Have to separate lah. Yeah. As long as the, the person understand, that's the most important thing. Uh. Understand that I'm visually impaired. That's important because not a lot of guy can accept a girl who is visually impaired. I don't think of I'm really very concerned for her. <laughs> <laughs> a very secretive no, one. <laughs> none, none. <laughs> No, I think she's uh, yeah. She won't tell us, huh? Can ask you or not? I ask you. Huh? Are you, do you have anyone interested in or now? No. Don't have. I tell you, you or no? Okay. I know Liana cook. No. I think you must also let the boy know uh, that you can cook. I think that one is very important. <laughs> you ask him uh, what what you, your favorite dish from your mom. Then you imitate uh. Yeah. Uh, maybe do better than the mom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, if it's fate, it will happen lah. So. Yeah. My friend all be asking me when am I going to have a boyfriend or when I want to get married. So, yeah, I think it's time for me to find someone, actually. No matter what, right, I still need to have someone with me who can actually share my problems with, you know. I know that I have someone, a shoulder to cry on, yeah. If the person can quit, it's a bonus. <laughs> because I'm tired of cooking for people, so now it's my turn to get people cook for me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stephanie Estefan. Um, I'm turning 38 in a few days. The condition I have is cerebral palsy. I'm a freelance public speaker, poet, theatre maker. There is not a single colour that the velvet rose is surrounded by. Not pink, green or purple, but only the purest form of white. With love, I used to have certain ideals, but at this part of my life, someone who can give me good conversation, that's more than enough. I've never been on an actual date, and um, I think it would be fun to then just date someone you've never met and just get to know him in the process. Even if he ends up being a good friend, I. I'm okay. Today, Matthew and I planned for an outdoor picnic, but it rained, so we decided to move indoors. I mean, what do you want? You've got bread here, bananas. Happy family. <laughs> oh my god. The last I played with this was so long ago. When we were younger. Actually, have you, have you ever gone on a date with, with someone with non-additional needs before? Or it... So, actually, there have been attempts to meet people that I met online, yeah. in person, but uh, they're all chicken out. And then have you ever, like, when you met the person and the person sees that you're a wheelchair user, the person kind of, like, backs out or whatever? Not exactly, but I had experiences where I told the guy that I like them, and then he does not know how to respond. Like he literally said, "I don't know what to say." <laughs> um, but that was when I was really young, last. I guess when you you mature, and it's easier to take rejection. Mm -hmm. Steph has talked about dating and romance in general with me. We're quite open about that, lah. So I thought it was just a great opportunity for her to experience this. He was actually like, go, 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 you better go, you better go. Yeah. I'm like, okay, 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 I go, I'm going, I'm going, I no one say no. I think the person needs to be intellectually curious. Uh, the person needs to embrace how Steph is someone who is very outspoken and direct. Uh, not a lot of guys can handle that. In terms of personality, I, I think I need someone who's a bit more like my older brother. He's more of the sporty, but Matt is like the gentle soul. So the gentle soul who is still sporty, by the way, yeah. just to clarify that. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, but then, because you see, when you hang out with a guy, right, what about things like safety? 
there have been incidences where a particular guy was a bit too obsessive over me. Then he started calling me like four or five times a day. And I got really scared. Okay. Now I I try this. Once they get a little too close for my liking, I try to stay away. I think as I got older, I became more withdrawn. I guess when you're younger, you're a lot more innocent to a lot of things. So um, you don't you don't realize how people would how guys would actually look at you, and how uh, some of them might be put off because of your condition. It became like you know. Uh, Whatever happens is whatever happens. I don't care anymore. I don't let them know because the why the fireworks too noisy. So nice to see you. You know, people they are they just go for the fireworks, right? Yeah, but so nice. It's very loud. I do hang out with Lin a lot. A little too much sometimes, but I cannot go out alone. It's hard for me to go on dates because I'm not sure whether he's comfortable enough to handle me alone, and I don't want to make my helper the third wheel. They have to get used to many things like me feeding myself in public. You know, it's it's not a pleasant sight to see. It's like kind of a shock for them, lah. But to me, it's like normal. It's a matter of like having. Confident in myself, and I don't give myself enough credit. What are your hopes towards finding love? I'm not looking for Mr. Prince Charming or anything, but um, it's more towards loving myself and understanding myself better. I see you're young, young, the bitter, bitter. Oh yeah, what are you talking about? Having to grow up with two boys and a cousin who's also male, you know, it sort of rubbed off on you. Like by the time I was thirteen, I was like more of a boyish kind of girl. I didn't like tying my hair up. I didn't. I didn't like makeup. So it was one Sunday when my mum called this lady who does nails as a sideline. Oh, this be a capo lah. Ask my mother, "Hey, mommy, can I do?" So I think that was the first time I started discovering my how how exactly to be a girl. I feel that I've always been someone else's daughter, someone else's friend, someone else's whatever it is. I never just there for myself, and I think. Part of being in this journey is to learn to pay attention to myself more. Then, are you ready for love? Yes. Hi, my name is Minsan, and I'm 35 years old this year. And uh, my condition is I'm actually hard of hearing in both ears. Three things that I look for in a partner. I think I would like my partner to be inclusive, understanding, as well as proactive. Sometimes uh, I'm unable to hear things happening around me, so I would ask her to act as my ears. I would say it has not been easy trying to find someone who fits all these traits. I was actually born with perfect hearing, but at the age of four, I started to have some hearing loss. Now I'm 35 years old, and my hearing has worsened to severe to profound. Hi guys. Hello. Now I'm working as a special educational needs officer at Temasek Polytechnic. So this is a manual wheelchair. Alright, so first thing first, I need to look out for the safety. 
So imagine if you ask a person to sit down in the wheelchair like that, the wheelchair will go backwards and then the person will fall down. In primary school, due to my you know, wearing of hearing aids, I was bullied a lot by my classmates. Alright, so now let's try out this activity. Initially, they would call me names and some of them would even pull off my hearing aids in class and they would throw to each other and force me to play monkey to get the hearing aids back. So now we will go on to the blindfolded activity. Okay, so these are the materials that I have here. I would daydream about how I could improve things in the school yeah, if I were to become a teacher one day. Remember to describe the surroundings to your partner. Okay, right now we are walking in the room. All right. So on your left side is a window. I remember one of my dreams was to set up my own CCA yeah, in the school where I would recruit you know, students with uh, disabilities so that they have a place where they can feel like uh, they belong. So I uh, hope today's session has been useful for all of you. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to looking for a relationship um, or a partner, I felt that due to all these bullying experiences, it affected my self-esteem, affected my confidence a lot. My first dating experience was actually quite unpleasant for me as well because when we first got together, she told me that she didn't mind my disability. But um, along the way, she expressed a lot of action that showed that she was not inclusive and she minded my disability. I do think that this is actually quite a common issue faced by people with disability. I've yeah, been sucked into the vacuum, so you need to help me reach up. I feel that I'm one of the fortunate ones. I managed to find the love of my life just five years ago. Hi, I'm Sokjin, and I'm working as a, an audiologist. No, you need to hold, hold it so that I can jump. So we meet during this sign language course at Singapore Association for the Deaf and I actually sit next to him. When I first started like speak to him, I found that uh, he is actually quite eloquent and I didn't notice that he has hearing loss. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I asked her out for our first date. The cafe that we went to was very noisy and I had a very hard time you know, hearing her and I need to keep asking her to repeat herself. But I didn't see a hint of annoyance on her face. Yeah, so that makes me um, attracted to her that she you know, is someone who didn't mind accommodating to my hearing loss. 16, 5 minutes lah, to sapa and annoy how long day. But the detail to sign to how how you add to it, so we got eight days, seven nights. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 How do you know I was going to propose? I know that you are going to, but not at that time. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout these five years, we have our ups and downs, and it makes us more sure of each other, that we want to spend the rest of our life together. So um, that's why we already got our house ready. So yeah, I would say I'm more ready for our next stage of our life together. Like cooking, right? Although you are visually impaired, it doesn't mean that it stops you from what you love to do. It's just the way we do things is a bit different.
My biggest fear of finding love is whether the person can accept me for who I am. Everyone thought that, okay, she, you go confirm going to get married first. Yeah. Ah, then I just laugh at them, no love I got, no. I actually cannot see. Okay. Yeah, so can you read out the venue for me? My previous relationship was, it was six years. So on the six years is where he said that I'm a burden to him because I'm visually impaired. Even if we were to get married, I'm going to be a burden to him. After that relationship, I actually lose a bit of my confidence you know, to find a boyfriend or love. I somewhat avoid uh, finding love also. Yeah. That's right. Uh, my bag is there. Thank you so much. Thank you. At first, it was hard to accept. But after a while, I just shrug it off, you know. Just make myself busy and do a lot of things, do training, sports, all this. Rather than anything about love. After that relationship, I start to be more careful on who I talk to or who I get to know. But yet, at the same time, it taught me a lot of things. You never know what's going to happen in the future, so yeah. I just keep my mind open. My hope is that, you know, I able to forget my past and just look through the future itself. Forget that hurt feeling, forget that scars, and just look forward. Yeah. Actually, I have a surprise for you. What? So you are going on your first date. <laughs> huh? What? Wait, 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 wait. What two days? Are you excited? Wait, 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 wait. The person knows about me. Yeah. Serious? Huh? Yeah. So he's okay, ah? Yeah, he's okay. Oh, cool. No, I have to think what to wear. <laughs> Never mind, I call Hafiz. Hey, Hafiz. <laughs> I asked you to take leave. <laughs> oh my god. Hafiz, because you are my bestie, I would like you to help me pick up clothes for my upcoming date. Yeah, very tight. Lah. People often think that I look down on my own kind, but. How are two wheelchair users supposed to go on dates when they need help to wheel themselves? I mean, this is a very bad comfort. I, I think you are uh, overthinking a little bit too much. Sometimes there's this communication loss. Any kind of dining table? No one. Huh? So, what he will do normally is he will just nod his head and agree. I prefer marble. Uh, you? Wood. I prefer wood. Mm. Uh -huh. Nervous. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thanks for watching the first episode of Love Enable. Do stay tuned for the next episode where Liana will be going on her first date. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.